Welcome to this new video. Earlier, during the month of June, a new major release of Debian was announced, version 12 called Bookworm. The stable version of Debian GNU Linux is frequently used in server environments, so it's critical for updates not to mess up the system. If you run a Debian server, you wouldn't want to break your system, as you might have took lots of time to configure it. As usual, most websites and blogs fail to address preliminary steps to ensure a major version upgrade without surprises. Fortunately, the Debian maintainers published a very useful and detailed guide called Upgrades from Debian 11 Bozai. This document shows all possible caveats and instructions to do before, during and after the upgrade. So, before modifying the sources list file and upgrading, let's have a look at the most important points. First of all, upgrade the system normally. You must get to the latest point release, which is version 11.7 .7 at the moment. This can be done simply with apt-get update and apt-get dist upgrade. You can check the result with cat etc debian version. If you get 11.7, you can listen on. Now, back up the configuration files you feel are important. The first paragraph in the guide points to another document called Issues to be aware of for Bookworm. If you use specific packages such as NTP, MariaDB or Grub, there are a few things to do. NTP has been replaced by NTPSec. On Debian 11, you can install ntpsec and copy the configuration file from ntp to be used by ntpsec. I strongly suggest to use ntpsec instead of ntp to sync your time, since it has lots of security and performance improvements. Concerning MariaDB, the document suggests to run the partial upgrade before the full upgrade. Finally, if you use grub as bootloader, it is written to modify the grub disable OS prober variable to false in the etc default grub file if you use a multi boot system. Other important updates are the new non free firmware Debian archive and the behavior of pip, one of Python package managers. Going back to the original document, we read that it is better to temporarily remove all backpost packages. You can use this command to list all installed backpost packages. In this example, we see FireJail as a package installed from the Bullseye backports. If you go to the Debian Packages website, you can search for the specific packages you're using from the backports and compare these versions with the ones present in the new stable release, just as I did here with FireJail. The guide then suggests to remove obsolete and non-Debian packages. Run these commands. It is also advised to remove leftover configuration files. By using this command as root, you'll get a list of the files to be removed. Once you clean your system, you can modify the apt sources list. To do this, you simply have to change the word bullseye to bookworm. Now we can update the repositories. Using the trivial only option enables us to check if we have enough free space for the full system upgrade we'll do in a moment. I split the upgrade in two parts. The first one consists in upgrading without new packages, while the second command does the full upgrade. It took a little less than one hour on a laptop for these two steps. After you complete the full upgrade without errors, you can reboot the computer normally. If the upgrade succeeded, you can purge obsolete and removed packages so your system is ready for the new release in a couple of years. That's it for this video and if you found it useful, like and subscribe. Bye bye!